Have you had enough of working for a salary and want to start your own business? Well, stay tuned to find out seven easy ways that you can become your own boss. Hi there, Nicholas Cameron here from First Formations, the UK's leading company formation agent. You do not need to invent a game-changing product or build a revolutionary website to become your own boss. Sometimes the route to entrepreneurship is much simpler and more inexpensive. In this video, we reveal seven easy ways that you can quickly become your own boss in 2024. Whether it's as a side hustle or a full-time endeavor, these ideas are perfect if you are a business owner in the waiting but haven't had that flash of inspiration just yet. So let's get started with number one, going freelance. Do you have a skill that people are prepared to pay for? Then going freelance is an obvious way to be your own boss. Web developers, programmers, graphic designers, copywriters, photographers, accountants, and project managers are all occupations commonly associated with freelancing, but the list really could go on. As a freelancer, you have the freedom to choose when you work, who you work with, and where you work from. And now, thanks to sites such as Upwork and Fiverr, one of the biggest challenges of freelancing, that is finding clients, is made much more simple. What's more, if you're not quite ready to hand in your notice, freelancing is a great way to test the waters of working for yourself without fully committing to what is no doubt a huge decision. Moving on to number two, sell online. Now, are you a skilled artist or a crafter? If the answer to that is yes, selling your goods online through sites such as Etsy could be an easy way for you to turn your passion into a business. Now, the big sellers on Etsy include crafts and supplies, handmade goods, wedding essentials, jewellery, and home decor items. So, if you are adept to making any of these, or can pivot your current crafting activity to these, there's a chance to make some money. Of course, whether or not you can make a living through this will depend on just how productive you are and how good you are. Even if you aren't a capable crafter, there are still opportunities to sell online. For example, with Vinted, you can sell pre-owned items such as clothing, homeware, video game software, and pet care items. And then there's eBay, where you can sell pretty much anything. All it takes is some smart buying, think charity shops and car boot sales, and you could turn a profit. Next up is number three, courier or delivery driver. Becoming a self-employed courier or delivery driver is ideal if you enjoy driving or cycling, have access to an appropriate vehicle, and take pleasure in being out and about. There is a level of flexibility connected to the role. Not only do you have autonomy over when you work and the routes that you take, but you also have a choice regarding how you start up. For example, you could set up your own courier business from scratch. This would entail finding your delivery niche, such as food and catering, fragile materials, or larger items, growing your client base, and, if you want to expand, building up your fleet. Alternatively, you could get started by becoming a self-employed driver or rider with an existing service like Amazon, Deliveroo, or Every. It's not for everyone. However, if you are driven, logical, and love being behind the wheel, it's a viable startup option. Our fourth self-employment suggestion is to become an online tutor. Those who can, do. And those who can't, teach, right? Well, no, actually. Tutoring, and specifically online tutoring, is a remarkably rewarding career that could be the perfect fit for you if you have the expertise that dovetails with formal education. Now, somewhat surprisingly, you don't need to have a qualification to become a tutor. Although having a relevant qualification in place will certainly help when it comes to attracting students or more likely their parents. However, because you will be working with children, you will need to pass a disclosure and barring service or DBS check. As with most businesses, finding customers will be your biggest challenge. 
Having said that, there's generally never a shortage of parents who want their children to get the best grades possible. Plus, platforms such as Tutorful and MyTutor will assist you in connecting you with appropriate students. So, if you are looking to make the most of your expertise and help students fulfill their potential at the same time, online tutoring could be for you. Number five is childminding. If you are a nurturing individual who enjoys spending time with children, childminding could be your path to being your own boss. This may be particularly appealing if you have your own children. You already have access to a suitable environment, the working day will generally fit well around your current childcare routine, and you'll be familiar with the challenges young children can bring. Plus, your services will appeal to other parents. Thanks to your experience, you may already have a list of potential clients. You must register with Ofsted to become a childminder. And to do this, you will need to complete a DBS check for childminders, first aid training, childcare training, a health declaration booklet, and two references. Childminding represents a fulfilling career where you can genuinely make a difference. Find out more about the requirements for becoming a childminder using the link in the description below. Let's move on to number six, which is consulting. As a consultant, you can lend your skills to other businesses, as and when you want, to help them achieve success. When done, you can then move on to another challenge within your sector. Industries where consulting is common practice include accounting, education, environmental, finance, healthcare, HR, legal, operations, marketing, and technology. Whilst there's no set qualification required to become a consultant, the businesses that you want to work for will want to see that you are truly an expert in your field. Typically, this entails providing a detailed portfolio made up of client success stories. If you have experience in the corporate world, but are now fed up with working for someone else, consulting provides you with the ability to utilize your existing skill set at the same time as choosing who you work with. And our last and seventh way of becoming your own boss is dropshipping. Yes, we know dropshipping always appears on these lists, but this is for good reason. It's a low-risk business model that can be started extremely quickly and with very little cash up front. So what is it? Dropshipping is a business model whereby you sell goods online through an e-commerce store without needing the goods in stock. You need to find a reliable third-party provider for a product, sell the products through your online store, and notify the third-party provider about the order and they then ship it directly to the customer. Essentially, you connect the customer to the company that provides the product. It's a business model that allows you to flex your marketing muscles without the need to get involved with the logistics or own a massive warehouse. Interested in finding out more? Well then read why Shopify thinks dropshipping is still worth it in 2024 using the link in the description below. So there you have it. Once you have found your business idea, you'll need to make it official. And this is where we come in. From only $12.99, we can register your UK limited company with Companies House. Our process is entirely online and companies are normally registered in three to six working hours. This means that you could be trading on the same day. Take a look at our company formation packages using the link in the description below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and we'll get straight back to you. Finally, be sure to subscribe to our channel to get more tips and advice on limited companies, reporting requirements, tax obligations and more. We're always happy to help and we can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, cheerio.